So you want to know what is going on in the housing market and is it slowing down? Well, the answer is for the first time a measurable, yes, it is slowing down. Now, relative to what is what we will discuss on this week's National Housing Market Update. I'm Justin Martin, keeping you current, and let's dive right into what is happening. And well, we noticed over the last year that when mortgage rates hit 7-ish percent, many people just decide to hold off. Affordability, as we've discussed over the last year with the rise in interest rates, is now something that every single person continues to identify their ceiling and floor on what they find affordable. So as you can see here, the overall inventory is up one and a half percent from last week, not dramatically. And as you can see what happened last year in June, we are now most likely in July going to have less available inventory than we did this time last year. So take that into context. The housing market is slowing down. However, the housing market is going to be better from an inventory perspective, meaning less homes. And we would relate that most of the time to home price appreciation. And anytime you have less inventory than a prior year, that's bullish for the future year. So most people are expecting home prices to continue to rise in 2024. But the important indicator is to better understand right now that the market is cooling off a little bit from the amount of people or demand. And we'll dive right into what I recommended or suggested, which is continue to follow measurable results, not opinions. And as you can see here, we have seen for two weeks in a row, this dark red line is less homes are going under contract. So the dark red line is basically the total homes in contract. And for the first time since the beginning of this year, that number has dipped. Now, as you can see, we were that light line is the total active listings available. We were expecting, as you can see back in like 2021 through 2022, you can see that that dark red line surpassed all the inventory, meaning that we had more homes under contract every single month than there were active listings available. So the strong housing market that we started to see in February, March, April, May is now starting to dip a little bit. And what we need to find out over the next couple of weeks is, is this a dip that's very similar to what happened this time last year, meaning that are a lot of people cooling off. That is not what we're expecting, but what we are expecting is a little bit of a correction from the enthusiasm people saw at the beginning and middle of the first quarter, second quarter, when rates started to dip down to 6 percent. So what does that tell us though? Is we know that it's cooling off a little bit right now and those that can afford the current payments, this is a great time to not have to get into a competitive environment. Now, what this also tells us is that people are not exiting the desire to purchase real estate. They're just waiting and holding off for good news around rates. And remember, this is the whole mindset around, well, when the rates change, then refinance compared to waiting for the rates to change and have to compete. What I mean by that is there is a heavy prediction that I will put out there, which is when rates continue to dip down again, we're going to see a flood of buyers back to the market, which is going to cause a lot of competition, especially for those looking within a certain price point. So remember, this is the opportunity when things slow down, not that that's bad. It's the opportunity for those that don't want to compete to come out and get what you really want. Now, as we look at those, some other indicators, you can see here, the median price of the single family home in the US, again, is continuing to rise. So now we're starting to see that year over year price is greater than where we were last year. So hopefully soon in the next 90 days, these headlines around year over year home price has decreased is yes, as you can see from the overall numbers that we were looking at when we were comparing it to last year is we saw a lot of change in that June to December market of 2022 in house price correction and the depreciation of home values month over month that led to a year over year. But now for most of the nation, we're seeing year over year gains and that bullish market into 2024, not massive gains, but again, home prices continuing to rise. Now, as you look at this slide here, you can also see the new pending, all right, price, meaning the new price of new homes coming to the market. You can see this graph is really good because that change in year over year price you can see was continually 
less than where we were that time last year. But now you can see for the first time this year over year, new pending, meaning in price, is a greater than where it was this time last year in 2022. And that is what we were talking about. We know that this time last year, we saw a major home price correction, housing correction from the three-year run rate that we were experiencing to the point that a lot of people didn't know what to do, reacted dramatically, dropped their price, which we'll show in a slide here in a moment. We're not seeing that right now, but it's just mindful for sellers and agents to remember that the slowdown of pending homes, meaning those going under contract right away, for the first time we've seen a decrease over the last two weeks. So be mindful if you're starting to see less showings and or less traffic on your listings and sellers, don't react or freak out, just adjust accordingly to the market and your marketing. So now as we look at what I was referencing is the percentage of properties with recent price reductions. Remember, look at that light red line. See how it skyrocketed last year from April, May, June, July, August is we saw a dramatic increase to the need to reduce price to get all right, home sold. But how much of that was also based off the fact that a lot of agents couldn't have honest conversations with sellers and our expectations were still off compared to what we were looking at in the markets of 2021 and the beginning of 2022 is there's also a lot of human error in there. But as you can see here, we continue to see a very good price reduction market of only 30% of homes, which is very traditional. As you can see in any given market outside the outlier markets of 2020, 2021, 2022, is we're now seeing less price reductions than we saw in 2019 and potentially even less in 2018 uh, as we continue to follow the market over the next 90 days. So don't react too quickly, just react accordingly to the market if you're understanding that you're not seeing a ton of traffic on your listing at the moment. That's just because the market has slowed down a little bit. So the overall takeaway from this week's market update is the market is slowing down. However, home prices are not slowing down. They're continuing to rise. If we see any changes to that, we'll obviously let you know, as always, in the first to know market conditions, the national housing market, which will be out next week, and overall, our weekly housing market update, continue to cover these major components of inventory, supply, demand, and price reductions. From me to you, thank you as always for your attention and your awareness and consideration. If you want to schedule a 15-minute consult, talk about your situation and or others you know across the nation, let me know and I'll connect you with top professionals all across the country. Justin Martin, until next week, talk to you then.